Last night on NXT, they set up three matches for next week and a debut. It will be LA Knight versus Odyssey Jones, MSK Josh Briggs and Brooks Jensen. I don't know who any of these guys are. Against Grizzled Young Vets, Carmelo Hayes and Trick Williams. Cora Jade is in action. Wasn't she like a women's wrestler from the 50s? And then uh, Tony Nipples will make his big debut for NXT. Did anyone watch this show? Uh, Did you watch any of this? I fast-forwarded through a lot of it, but yeah, technically I watched it. So you didn't watch it? uh, No, I I, I watched it. I can tell you. What can you fast-forward through? The matches are all one minute. That's, I, uh, that's probably going to be the last week I was watching this. Unless somebody says, if we have now moved NXT reviews to, we'll see what happens uh, and what the reaction is, and maybe we'll talk about it on Thursday, um, fine. Uh, you can let me know what Braun Breaker match I need to watch. It's... Some of the newness and the goofiness where you're waiting to see what's going to happen with some of these people... It's it's already fizzled out for me. I knew it was going to, but I I don't want to watch Florida Championship Wrestling. It's just not at the level of other indies and other things that I could be watching. It doesn't seem like it's going to have any impact on the future, not for a long time. I mean, when are we going to see Cora Jade on the main roster? I guess we may, but I, I don't want to see her learning process in WWE. I don't want to see... Trey Baxter turn into whatever Trey Baxter is turning into. I, it's just, it's, you see, when, when you see the show, you let me know if you can get through the whole thing without like wanting to fast forward throughout the entire thing. And let me know if you come away at the end of this one, after the last couple of weeks, saying that you want to watch this show and continue it on. I mean, again, you can watch a superstars from 86 or 87 and get a far better effect of, of what they're going for here. I like Rich. I like a lot of the people that are on the roster, and I think a lot of them do have great potential, some of the young ones. I just don't want to see their learning process. The The Abraham Washington-esque talk show was awful. And again, it's not even this woman's fault. She just started in the wrestling business, and like she's got a talk show on national TV. I, I just there's not enough good on this show. And the one thing that before it used to be the matches, and now without those, there's not enough that's going to keep me drawn into watching this thing. Uh, there, no buys for me. If you enjoy these videos for just seven dollars and ninety nine cents per month, you can enjoy full length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.